Very right, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rahak Radash. Good honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. The salutation and much love to you all. Get out there pushing out the word and truth and sincerity. And I'm uh, just going to do a quick in transit video uh, concerning Esau. You know how he thinks he's going to, uh, you know, actually uh, be able to upset prophecy and, and set up his new world order. But that's that's how you see uh, the Lord got him in a trick bag, man. Actually, get uh, Obadiah first. Obadiah 1, uh, uh, verse 3. This is uh, the book of Obadiah, verse 3. It says, The pride of thine heart has deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock. That's right. So the pride of his heart has deceived him, man, because he, 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 he truly believes in his heart that he's going to he's gonna uh, prosper. His, his enterprise is going to prosper. All right, but what the, he, he, the Most High is just—he just full deceiving him, man. Because the scriptures say that the deceived and the deceiver is in the hands of the Lord. So the Lord's put the spirit on him to to actually, you know, because that—that's why he's going so hard. Because he actually believes that he's gonna, you know, fulfill his uh, new world order, and you know, he gonna he gonna he gonna get close, but it ain't gonna happen. Yeah, because the, the scriptures talk about that noonday. You know, we were talking about that a, like a couple weeks ago, a week or two ago. About that uh, that noonday being the height of Esau's empire, man. All right, and then what? After that, the sun starts to go down, and that's what that we're in the time of Esau coming down, man. All right, because the Lord is gonna Esau, because like the brother was just saying, Esau thinks he's gonna be able to accomplish uh, his heart's desires. All right, but the Lord is gonna disappoint him, like we're gonna get here in, in the Book of Job. Let me get back on this. This is uh, Job chapter five. And verse 12, it says, He disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. And their devices mean their plans, their plots of the crafty. Who are the crafty ones? The, the damn devil himself. You know? Deceiver. Yep. You know, let me get that word enterprise there. This is Job chapter 5, 12. The word for enterprise, it's uh, Thawash, Thawash, yeah. Tawashia. Alright, it's uh Strong's H8454, and it means wisdom, sound knowledge, success, sound or efficient wisdom. Alright, it says uh the Strong's definition says uh support or ability, direct help, understanding, all right, enterprise that which is substance, wisdom, working. And, yeah, right? he, he think he gonna set up his wisdom, the wisdom of this world, you know. His 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 uh his knowledge. He think he gonna set up his knowledge on on the earth as a whole. You know what he what they've been plotting for hundreds of years, man. So go going all the way back to the 1700s and really before that. Uh, yep. Damn. Let me get up another piece here real quick. This is uh the book of uh, Proverbs chapter 17 verse 13 it says or uh, it's a lot. I think it's Psalms. Because this devil, man, he really, he, he wholeheartedly thinks that that the Most High, you know, is just going to let him, <laughs> you know, here it is, all the, he, they know that all the, you know, we're talking about the elites. They know all these things that have come to pass according to the scriptures. and But the, now they somehow think that the Most High is going to let them get away with being just the, the biggest dirtbags on the planet. You know, the, the grimiest uh, person to ever live. Yeah. The nigga E. Go ahead. This is uh, Psalms 17. I'm going to start at 8. Read down. It says, Keep me as the apple of the eye. Hide me under the shadow of thy wings from the wicked that oppress me, from my deadly enemies who can pass me about. And see, that's what Esau's, uh, that's Esau's whole agenda, man. All right, that's why he's coming at the men of the Lord so, uh, so much, man. Really, the Israelites in general, but his ultimate goal is to try to stop this word from being pushed out, man. All right, to have control over the whole population of earth. Right, really get rid of you niggas, man. That's what Esau really wants to do, man. All right, but it says, it says, verse ten, they are. Well, so, so that real quick, he, that's why he had the Georgia Guidestones. He he, mm -hmm. he plainly showed you in that, which I think they took it down, but you know the, it was already out there. People already seen it. it There's photos out there. That's what he want. He want to depopulate. Oh, oh shit! Yeah, it says uh, verse ten. It says they are enclosed in their own fat. With their mouths, they speak proudly. And you see these devils, they speak proudly of the things that they, they're going to be doing or that they're going to try to do. You know, oh, we're going to we're gonna have a one world, you 
know, government, everyone's gonna come together, you know, we're gonna implement this RFID microchip, you know. Yeah, what's it, what's it say on the back of the dollar bill? Uh, Norvo Sucorum. Yeah, no, Nor, Norvo Sucorum and something like that. New World Order. Yep. You know, and that's their enterprise. That's their, that's their devices, yeah. that's their plans. Yeah. You know, that's why the scripture says we are not ignorant of Satan's devices. Yeah. All right, because we, the, the men of the Lord knows that Yahweh Shemim El Shai has bestowed his knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the things that are happening. All right, we know that the things that are happening around the four corners of the earth is all of, uh, is all Esau's plan to try to, uh, to try to uh, bring about this RFID microchip, man. All right, yeah, which is that's what's going to lead to the new world order. Yep. So they, because they want to be able to monitor, monitor anybody that's still alive, okay. and they, they want to have you. Well, they want to be as the Most High. That's that's what Esau's new world order is about. Him being he, him being the real God, you know, which which you know that ain't gonna happen. Okay. This is uh, verse eleven. It says they have now compassed us in our steps. They have set their eyes bowing down to the earth. All right, because they they've set themselves up like we uh, like in uh, Obadiah. Matter of fact, let me read that. Finish that verse in Obadiah real quick. All right, because it said their eyes bowing down to the earth, meaning they're looking down on us. This is Obadiah 1 in verse 3 again. It says, The pride of thy heart has deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the cliffs of the rocks, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, Who shall bring me down to the ground? You know, and that's why the scripture just said in Psalms that his, he bowed his eyes down to the ground because he set himself up high, man. Yeah. He really has he really has deceived himself to believe that he's in a high, high position and that no one's gonna bring him down from that, man, and that no one's gonna be able to stop him. Alright? Because Esau, what he is, man, he's a, he's, he's a madman, you know? He's a madman, and he's going to be stopped uh, right. by the hands of the Lord. Can I get that scripture? I think it's in, uh, it might be in Thessalonians, which says that he that letteth till he take him out of the way, you know what I'm saying? Because the, they forgot who, who uh, Esau forgot who gave him the blessing in the first place, gave him the ability to rule the earth. Because according to Job 9 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So the only reason they're ruling is because it was it was a divine intervention. Because these are the bases of men. And the, the, the reason they got up so high is because the Lord um allowed them to. Alright, he ordained it. It's not something that they for by their own will or they were so so such mighty men. Nah, man, these, these are the biggest devils on the earth, man, the most feeble. You know, that's why the scriptures say in Isaiah says, Is this the man? That they, they made the earth to, 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 to tremble. Found it. Thessalonians. I'm not sure if it's a Thessalonians. We we'll just type in "He that letteth." Because Esau, man, he's a big. He he he's so he's so full of himself, man. Ultimately, the, the one that's going to take him out of power is, is the one that put him in power. All right, which was Yahweh Shai, man. All those really Yahweh, but Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. All right, because Yahweh Shai gave Esau the blessing all the years ago. Go ahead. This is uh, Second Thessalonians <clears throat> chapter two, verse seven. For the mystery mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. And that's talking about the Most High. The Most High is the one that led it them, man. You know, and that mystery of iniquity was talking about that Roman Empire back in the day, man. Yep. All right. And which is which is back today. Yep. And it's not a mystery no more. Because what Amos three and seven, the, the, the Lord uh, doeth nothing, but He reveals His His secrets down to his, uh, his His servants, the prophets, man. Okay. Which is uh, a mystery is a secret. Okay. And, it, and it says. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. And we're in that time that Esau is getting ready to be taken away, man. All right, meaning that power that he has is going to be taken from him. There's going to be a power change, all right, a transition or an emancipation yep. of power. Okay. Hey, well, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. Mm -hmm. All right, then uh, get, uh, get uh, Job 20, I think 23, or Job 23 and 20, one of those. This is one real quick in Psalms. Let me get to the point. This is uh, Psalms, back in Psalms 17. And let me get to the point. In verse 13, it says, Arise, O Yahweh, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. You know, and that's how we know that that, that, that wicked is talking about Esau, man. All right, and the Lord, 
all right, is going to disappoint him, man. Meaning the Lord is going to not bring the things that he wants to uh, bring about. All right. He who now letteth will let until the time of taking him away, man. Roughly paraphrasing. We just read it, you know. And that's the time, again, that we're getting it, that we're coming into, man. That's why Esau is panicking. All right. These elites, they're, they're trying to, they're, they're trying to figure out what to do because the most high just made this and that move man you know and that's why they're at the end of the day they're just gonna bomb each other to all hell man because they're, they're just in panic mode you know yep so let me get back you said job 20 yeah i think it's job 20 and then verse 23 what is that on there? this is job chapter 20 verse 23 when he is about to fill yeah, his yeah. belly it says um This is Job 20 and 23. It says, When he is about to fill his belly, the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him. Ah, so right before he gets his his new world order, right? He's going to implement the market, the market of beasts. All right. He's going he's gonna to bring the chaos because that's what order order off chaos. They, they got to bring the war because they know that's that's part of the the the, the whole um the devices, the craft, the crafty devices of, of, that they got to set up. So right before, but, but what they're gonna be like? Yeah, see, you know, the, the, the Lord ain't coming. The Lord ain't coming back. We, look, we're about to set it up. They're gonna have their, they were, they're gonna be in, up in space or in their deep military bases, and they're gonna think that they're, they're, they're about to set up the new world order, like they've been trying to do. But what? Right, right when they about to, and right by the hair of the chinny chin chin. The Lord's gonna bring their wrath, to, which is He gonna use their own weapons against them. Go ahead. And He shall rain it upon him while he is eating. Yep. You know? Go to the next. Uh, okay. Kind of, because because Esau right now, what it, what it means by eating is he he accom him accomplishing he, the things that he's doing. He's living good. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And Esau, all right, he's gonna he's gonna actually put bring out this RFID microchip, man, which is the mark of the beast. Esau is gonna bring that out. So Esau is going to be eating all that up, man. Eating all you people up. All right. The scriptures talk about being uh, the wicked cometh to devour. All right. Like a lion, man. And you that's devour some, you tear that shit up. Yep. Uh, exactly, man. See, and that's what the that's what Esau is doing, man. Right now, he's eating deliciously, man. But what? The Most High, right before he fills his belly, he's going to rain down on him while he's eating, man. Right before Esau says, all right, I'm done. I'm full. The Most High is going to cut his ass off, man. You know, this is uh, verse 24. It says, he shall flee from the iron weapon, which is those RFID or the nuclear missiles and the bow of steel shall strike him through. All right. And that's what's going to happen, man. The, the missiles are going to strike Esau down, man. All right. Uh, Yahweh, Shai, Yahweh Shai said, I seen uh, Satan falleth lightning, man. Yeah. That's how quick this place is going to come down, man. And you, 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 uh, you sitting in a thunderstorm, man, you see a lightning bolt, you, you catch it out the corner of your eye, man. It's there and then it's gone. And, yep. In the blink of an eye. Yep. And hey, that's how Esau's gonna fall, man. All right. In a in a in a, in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, man. Yep. <laughs> you know. Because at the same time, you know, we are gonna get them bodies, man. We gonna be wow. we gonna be changed, man. We gonna be risen up, and Esau's gonna be brought down, man. It's mm -hmm. a perfect balance. All right. Yep. Um, that was it on that. Yeah. All right. Close out. Man. All right, but with that, you know, all the one words out is edifying to the elect. We want to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rokhak Wadash. The one words to the elder apostles, great millstone. The salutations and much love to y'all. Came out there pushing out his word, truth, and sincerity. Shalom. Shalom.